Learn two. Learn two. Hey, you are just in time. Tyler here, and we are about to play in this really big sandbox. This thing is huge, and we're gonna have a ton of fun playing in here today. Right, come on, let's check out the sand. Oh, wow. Do you see this? What is this? It looks like an envelope. It's made out to us. So I think we can open it. You think we should open it? Okay, let's see what's inside. Whoa. Look at this. Do you know what this is? Let's see, it says M A P. That spells map. I think this is a map. Oh, wow. What's that in the corner? Let's say it on the count of three together. One, two, three. Dinosaur! You know what? This looks like a map of this very sandbox. I bet you this is a map of dinosaurs. Maybe we should use this to see if we can dig up some dinosaurs today. Hmm, all right. You go grab some supplies. I'm gonna go grab some supplies and we'll meet back here in a minute because today we're gonna learn how to read a map and we're gonna learn about dinosaurs and you can learn too. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new and you can learn to. Learn to, learn to. I learned something new. couple supplies that I think will help us on our mission today. Now these aren't just toys, these are tools that we're going to use to dig up dinosaurs and try to identify them. So the first thing we have is this green bucket. All the dinosaurs we find, we can put them in here. Next I have two shovels. The first one is an orange shovel and the second one is this yellow shovel. We'll use these to do all the digging. Next we have our paintbrush. This will help us brush off the dirt from the dinosaurs if they're a little dirty. And lastly, our trusty map. This is going to tell us the locations of the dinosaurs and so we're going to follow this the whole time. Now I've called in a couple experts to help us. We have Chloe back at the lab and she's an expert at looking things up and she's going to help us identify dinosaurs today. So everybody say hi to Chloe. Hi Chloe. And this is Benny. He is our counting expert. Do you know how to count? Yes. Okay, awesome. And you get to use one of these shovels, Benny. Do you want the orange one or the yellow one? I'm orange. The orange one. All right, cool. Let's go take a look at the map. All right, this is our map. So we want to get to all these red X's because I think that's where the dinosaurs are buried. Now these little shoe prints tell us how many steps it's gonna take to get there. And this compass tells us what direction we need to go. Up is this way, down is this way, right is this way, and left is this way. Now we are starting right here, and the first thing we need to do is take five steps to the left to get to our first X. Bennett, are you ready? One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, come here, buddy. Look, at, do you see the X? I think a dinosaur is buried under there. Why don't you take your orange shovel? Let's see what we can find. Do you see anything? Oh, whoa. What is that? Hold it up so we can see it. We found some dinosaurs. We found some dinosaurs. Yeah, let's clean them off. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this one is? Yeah. What is it? It's a ceratops. A triceratops. Very good. 
Yeah. Chloe, can you tell us some information about Triceratops? I sure can. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Tyler and Miwa from Puerto Rico. Everybody say hi, Tyler and Miwa. Okay, now back to the Triceratops. The Triceratops gets its name from the three horns on its head. Let's count them. One, two, three. These dinosaurs were really big. They were 30 feet long and their heads were as tall as you, Tyler. Even though they were so big, they were herbivores, meaning they only ate plants. Can you believe that? Awesome, thank you, Chloe, for that information. Okay, let's take a look at our map. We're right here now, and we need to get right here. It looks like we need to go seven steps up. So, let's put our dinosaurs in the bucket. Bennett, do you wanna hold the bucket? Okay, we gotta take seven steps, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I see the next one. Do you see this red X? Here, come over here. Come over here and grab your shovel. All right, I think we should start digging right there. Let's see what we can find. Oh. What do you see? Whoa, what is that? Let's see, this is an orange dinosaur. It's got some spikes on the back. Hmm, I wonder what kind of dinosaur this is. These ones look like the little babies. Oh, and I think the mama was hiding out in the trees. Chloe, can you tell us what this is? Hmm, let's see what I can find. Aha, it looks like a stegosaurus. Just like the triceratops, the stegosaurus was an herbivore, so they only ate plants. And those things on their back, they're called plates. And they also have spikes in their tails to protect them from predators. How would you like to have one of these for a pet? <laughs> Oh, a stegosaurus. Awesome. Cool, good find, Benny. Let's put these in the bucket and let's take a look at our map. So, we're right here and we need to go all the way to right here. That's 10 steps. Do you think we can count to 10? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think we found the red X. Here, why don't you take your shovel and I'll take mine and let's see what we can find. Whoa, I think I see a foot over here. Do you see that? He's got a Oh, that's kind of sticking up. Whoa! Wow. What did you just find? Uh, a T-Rex. Well? Oh, dude. Look at this rock now. I don't know what this one is. There's a couple of them. Chloe, can you tell us what this is? That looks like a velociraptor. And now for this, we're going to have a fact from our little dino expert, Adeline from Norfolk, Virginia. Go ahead, Addy. Hi, my name is Adeline. My favorite dinosaur is the Velociraptor. Velociraptors are very smart, can run very fast, and have very sharp claws. Great job, and thank you for that, Addy. Velociraptors are bipedal, which means they walk around on two feet. They have long tails, and you can easily identify them from the claw that sticks up on their hind feet. In the movies, they always show velociraptors as really big, but they were actually only the size of a turkey. <laughs> velociraptors are carnivores, which means they only eat meat. Aren't velociraptors awesome? Oh, a velociraptor. Okay, that's a pretty cool dinosaur. All right. We are right here 
and we need to get to the big X right here. And it looks like we have to do four hops to get there. Bennett, are you ready to do four hops? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think this is the big X. Look at it. It's this huge mound. Can we use our stones? I don't know. I think we're gonna need to use an excavator on this one. All right, let's dig. Oh, whoa, what do we see? Look it. Okay. It's the big one. This is the T-Rex. Chloe, what can you tell us about T-Rexes? Yes, the T-Rex is one of my favorites. The T-Rex was a really big bipedal carnivore. That means they walked around on two legs and ate meat. From head to tail, these dinosaurs could get up to 40 feet long. That's about the size of a telephone pole. Also, the T in T-Rex stands for Tyrannosaurus. Do you want to try to say that with me? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Tyrannosaurus Rex, great job. All right, looks like there's only one more X to go. We're right here and we need to do two hops and three big steps to get to the final X. Let's go. One, Two, one, two, three. Um, okay, it's gotta be close. There's supposed to be an X around here. What is that? Look up. I don't think it's up there. Oh, it's right here on this bucket. Whoa. It looks like there's some dinosaur eggs in this bucket. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dinosaur eggs. Wow, look at these. Well, maybe for the last X, we're supposed to hatch these. What do you think? Should we go hatch them? All right, let's go. Thanks for watching the first part of our dinosaur video. Be sure to tune in to part two to see what was inside those dino eggs we hatched. And as always, you can check out great behind the scenes content at learn2kids.com. See you later.